Hi. So today, this video is going to be about straddle. I want to go a little bit more exact into it. So use the exercises which are for you. The first one might be too easy, then just skip them and go to the ones which you feel are more challenging. And for the ones who feel like they really need the basics, here they are. So I will start from the basic and then advance through the video. So the first exercise is to chest hang. Have your arms bent about 90 degrees. I show it from the side. And then you just hang there. Lift your feet and try to hang and then go slowly out. Until your arms are straight. And then you stand up again, back, hold it. And let it out. Nice. Second exercise is similar. You hang there, bent arms, and you try to fix it, and then you lift your leg. First one, just to feel, lift it, and down again. Other leg, lift it, and down again. The third step, of course, would be most legs. Great. So once you feel that this is done, you go to the next exercise, which would be you can jump up a bit now in the beginning. So jump to your knees here and back. So what I want you to think there is don't have the knees in front of you. Have them to your shoulders. So really think knees have to go to the shoulder. I will show it to you from the side. In the beginning now you can jump, but try to hold the moment when your knees are on the shoulder for a little second. So you try to resist and then you go slowly down. So it looks like this. Jump there, hold it there a little bit, and slowly down. Jump, and slowly down. When you do it, try to not look too much up yet. Try to look straight forward. So it's really important in the beginning now, when you lift your legs, when you do leg lifts, that you actually, your head is still forward. It's not before you tilt back that your head is looking upwards, because it should always be the prolongation of your upper body or most of the time. So in the beginning now, when you do this, I show it one more time, jump up here, look forward and back. Great. If the jumping works, of course, next step will be lifting. So fix your arms in a position, really activate your back, pull your shoulders a little bit down. You don't have to have them totally down, but right now be strong. And then you lift your legs here and slowly down and lift and slowly down great this is next step if this works i want you to go up to a straddle because this one is important too for coming there like if you don't know how to hold the position up there it doesn't matter that you come up there you want to also have your form there and what I see many times is the straddle is something round the hip are hanging down something like this and in my eyes, it's much harder to hang there. And it is not really the finished straddle. When you do a straddle, you want to have your hips as close as possible to your hands. You want to push your chest a little bit through and place everything above each other. So if your shoulder is there, your hands are close to your hips, everything is on top of each other, which is much easier to hold than if you're hanging down there, which means you have no point of reverence and nowhere actually to place your weight and it's much heavier. So I will show it to you one more time. If you're still working on it, how you go into the straddle for the straddle hold, I actually don't care. So you can either jump up, put your feet on the bar and try to get there. If you go back to my conditioning exercise, exercises, which I have on YouTube, there is one where you can like release one leg, release the other leg for building up your straddle. So go and check that one out. But let's say we are working on the straddle. So I will show you now with putting my feet on the bar so you have a reference how you can come up there. So put one foot, put the other one, and then push your hips up as much as you can and straighten your legs. So as you can see, I look straight to the back wall. My legs are open. My hands are close to the hip. This is the straddle and I'm, I'm not hanging here down i'm trying to push my chest through be straight my shoulders are rolled back a little bit and i'm looking straight at the back wall yes 
So try to build it up to like 30 seconds to hang there. Try to feel the position when you kind of push your chest through and when everything is on top of each other. When this works, then we will connect the knee, shoulder, knee movement to the straddle. So it will look like this. I show it to you from the side. So it's kind of you tilt. You do the moment when you have your legs here to the moment when you straighten your arms, your head goes back and you're pushing your hips up towards the hands, towards the bar. So this moment we are training there. Let me show you one more time. So you have your arms bent there and then you straighten your legs and your arms, sorry, and you put your hip towards your hands. And then you come back here. And then you tilt back. And here. Notice that my head is going along with the movement. Great. Now we are much closer on doing a nice inverted straddle because the goal is that you actually can invert with bent or with straight legs in the air even, not just with the floor under. So all these exercises are building up to that strength. Now we are starting get, to get closer to the straddle. One thing I would like to talk about, which I personally think is really helpful and really important, is the negative way. So every time you come down, you just drop down, you actually miss the possibility to build up your strength. In my experience, the times I, I've been using the negative, I've been doing it really well on the down, way down, I gained much quicker strength. So every time you do a straddle, if it's a jump up or whatever we are working on, try to go down as slowly as possible to hold against the force which is pulling you down, of course, until the moment you drop it. But I promise you, every time you will come a bit further down. This is especially important in the next few exercises which we are going to do. Number one. So now we have been doing the straddle position itself. We have been doing this switch from the shoulders to coming up there, back. We have been jumping up to the shoulders. So now we will try to jump up into a straddle to start with. Uh, let me just show it to you again. One more thing, which I maybe didn't mention before. For a straddle, you have your hands quite close together. So the hands are close together and the thumbs go around. You kind of grab from the top and slide your hands around a bit. So yeah, this is the easiest way, or for me, it's the best grip I can get. Okay, back to the straddle. So have the arms still a little bit bent and then try to jump up to it. And slowly down. Good. If this is too hard, you can, in the beginning, put your feet on the bar. The problem is only if you do this too long, you will always aim for here. And actually, your feet have to be behind the bar for a straddle. You want to go behind your shoulder. So if you just aim here, what happens is a little bit that you look up and you put your feet there. So your hip and everything is still low. What you want to achieve is actually your hip high and your legs back. So the difference would be, even if you don't have so much strength that, strength, that you aim with your knees to your shoulder and then straighten the legs backwards. So it looks like this. So aim your knees there and straighten back. And back down. So if you aim there, even if it doesn't work in the beginning, try to think knees to your shoulder and then maybe grab the bar. So if you like come here and then do, your hip is already in a certain height. Otherwise, it will hang down there, your feet will go there, and you will not really come closer to the straddle. So, next step was jumping up into the straddle and slowly down. Another exercise which is really helpful would be that you are going into your straddle, and then you go down, the arms are straight, the legs go along your arms as far as you come. And when you start to feel, oh, it's heavy, you push yourself back up and you go down again as far as you come. Maybe you come a little bit further and you push yourself up again. For now, use the arms like a reference where your legs slide along and you push back up. And then by time, you can come 
further and further down. Yeah, so that's one exercise which is really helpful is to go down as far as you come and back up to work on that piece up here. One is to go work on the lower piece. The other one would be to work on this piece. When this works, depending on how high you have it, I, one thing I really find also helpful is to take temp and kind of try with the temp to go into it. Because then you get kind of the energy, you start to learn the way of it. So now it's a little bit low here. Um, so I will see if it even works. Just about. So normally I wanted to do straight leg temps. If you have a floor like this, you don't have your, your hoop so high, you can bend it, but still think that the temp comes from the hips. So it would look like this. You would go back and up and down and up and down and up. So as you could see, if I do it with temp, my arms stay straight. And this is something which you can start to work on too, because in the end, a straddle is nice, of course, if you have straight legs and straight arms. So coming closer to the straight arm straddle, to not have to bend it and pull yourself in, would be to use temps. So that is something you can train. Plus you feel the temp helps you to get your hip up, because this is kind of the hardest part, to get your hip up to your hands, of course. Yeah, and then what would be there is to lift it slowly in with strength. So connect all the exercises, knees to the shoulders, tilt and back. Knees to the shoulder, tilt and down. And again, knees to the shoulders, tilt, back. So it's hard to do it in pieces, as you see, it will get the flow. And then the very last one would to be to do the same thing with straight legs. Each of these exercises, which I did with bent legs now, you can condition with straight leg. So same there, down, yes. So open up your leg as much as you can, tilt it and roll up and down again. But this after all the other steps. <laughs> Great. I hope you have something to work on. I hope your straddle gets better. <laughs> um, follow me on Instagram or Facebook, Extraordinary Fitness. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click the link for more training tips, videos, and see you soon again. And Great work.